Greetings, I'm going to do a short series on how to use my cloudlogin.dev Playmaker integration. In this first video, we're just going to show you how to get your project set up. Um, so again, you can get my cloudlogin.dev Playmaker integration from mrphilipjoel.itch.io slash cloudlogin. There are a few things you need. Um, you're going to want Unity 2019 or above. Be sure Playmaker is already installed in your Unity project then you need an account at cloudlogin.dev. Um, so you can go to cloudlogin.dev and sign up if you haven't signed up yet. It's a pretty straightforward process. I'm not going to show you the sign up process. And so when you're on your dashboard, um, your dashboard will be empty. And it's real simple to add a game. You just click the add a game button, give it a name. And once you've done that, you have everything you need to get started, except for um, the cloud login integrations. Um, so here we have my demo game. The main things that we're going to need are the game ID and our API token. Um, on the docs, he has two helpful videos on getting set up and getting started. Um, and also on here, where's it at? Uh, importing the package. You'll also need the uh, to go to GitHub and download the cloud login package. Um, a couple of things to note on um, the cloud login example, you might just want to delete that and um, because you're not going to be using it. I used it to help me set up my Playmaker actions, um, but now that you, we have the Playmaker actions, you don't need it. I um, mean, it kind of flags some errors on one piece of it. So you, you can delete the cloud login example or when you import it into your project, just uncheck it. Um, and I think the rest of it should be good. Um, the developer is working on updating some of the things in here. Um, when I built the Playmaker package, uh, I did run into a couple little errors that I had to fix. Um, and so he's going to be fixing those. Um, but if you just import my, uh, my Unity integration package, um, I think I have everything in there. So you might not even need to get the uh, cloud login integration. I think I just included it in my integration package and I'll continue to update that as well. All right, so once you have the Playmaker integration package, um, you'll want to um, go to assets and import package, custom package, find it in your downloads folder and um, import it. All right, and then you should have everything that you need. So here we just have a basic canvas with um, a register or login choice. So let's take a look at the register um, option first. All right, um, so here's my FSM. This is just a simple FSM. I'm not going to go to it in detail. This is just normal Playmaker actions. Um, you click a button and it's going to activate a register panel. If you click the login button, it's going to activate the login panel. And so here's my register panel. All right, we have some input fields here. And so if we go back to my uh, FSMs, we have uh, register a new user. So the first thing that I do is um, we're waiting on the button click because it doesn't need to do anything until you actually click to register. So we have enter email, enter username, enter password, confirm password. And so what I have is whenever the button's clicked, it's going to run some checks. So what it's doing is it then gets this UI input field. So it's getting the text from all of these input fields and it's storing them as variables, it's storing them as email, username, password, and password confirm. And then it's going to start doing some string compares. And what it's doing is it's just making sure that they're not empty. So it's comparing email to nothing. And if that's equal, then it's going to do this email empty transition, which is just going to um, change the text of this email placeholder. So if you're not sure how to get the placeholders, um, over here in my register, here's my email input field. Let's jump over to the scene, focus in on that. Here's my email input field. So input fields have text placeholders and they have the actual text. So if I want to change what's in the placeholder, I would take this email placeholder and I would come over here to, uh, I would took this text and I drug it into my FSM and that let me set the property. Okay, so we brought, dragged it in here to set the property. Um, and so what it does is it's setting the property of color to red, but it's setting the text of the email placeholder to cannot be empty. So if I were to try to run this, 
and we could just show it real quick. If I try to run this and I hit register, it's going to give me uh, an error message. So hit register, cannot be empty. All right, and so I'd fill that out, hit register, and then this would be red. So all these are doing checks. And then I also have a check where it compares, it can, it's comparing the password field to the confirm password field. Um, that's this guy. It's comparing, now here it is, this last one. It's comparing password and password confirm. If they're not equal, then it's going to throw up um, the password mismatch one where it's going to change both these fields. It's going to clear them both out. All right, so it's going to get UI input field set text to nothing. And then it's going to um, set the placeholder text and say passwords must match. All right, and so then you can go in and make sure the passwords match and register. So let's take a look at what happens when you actually register. So once all the error checks are good, it's going to then go and make the cloud login.dev connection. But before that, let me point out the most important thing. You must have this cloud login initializer in your scene or nothing will work. Okay, so make sure you have the cloud login initializer in your scene. Also, um, that is located in the uh, cloud login master folder. It's a prefab cloud login initializer. All right, and make sure the prefab has all the scripts assigned. If for some reason it doesn't, um, just put cloud login first from right here, then put cloud login user from right here, then put cloud login store item from right there, and then cloud login utilities from right there. All right, it's important that that prefab set up correctly. All right, and so then what I do is um, I'm, we make the cloud login dev connection. And so what you need here is you need your game ID which we get from our um, cloud login dashboard. I thought I had that open. Oh, we did. It was over here. So I'll go home. And so our game ID is 11. And then here's my long API token. So I'd put that 11 in here. And then I would come over and grab my uh, API token. And then I have a success and failure event set up too. So if it does fail, um, what'll happen, well, first it connects you to um, your game. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't, there's no failure event that it gives you. It just, it just doesn't work. Um, and so it's going to go to the failure state. And um, I have a text that'll pop up that just says something went wrong. All right, this guy here, boom, something went wrong. Um, but um, once you are connected and you have success, then it's going to actually register the user. So we already stored the email, username, password, and password confirm from over here in the run checks. Um, if you don't want your users to register with an email, I haven't tested it yet, but I imagine you could just put a username field and then um, to satisfy the cloud login dev sign up, you can just do a string build and you can just take their username and then as a second component put at some random domain dot com and I imagine it'll allow you to register them that way. So if we have success on the sign up, we get success. If we get failure on the sign up, there is um I think there is a failure message. I guess we don't get a failure message on this one. I think we only get a failure message in the login. So all we get is a failure event if something went wrong, and it'll just display that something went wrong. So you can debug and figure out what's going on. Maybe you put the wrong, uh, maybe you weren't getting the fields correctly. Maybe you saved the wrong variables or something, and that'll sign them up. Um, login um, pretty much is the very similar FSM. You're going to um, run the same checks, but there's not as much stuff on the login screen, right? Because if we collapse register and open... Uh, login. You know, all we have is an email and password field, right? Because by default, that's how they log in. Again, if you want them to log in with just a username, you could do that. Um, probably by just doing a string build on the back end, having it be at some random domain.com. Because it doesn't send an email confirmation or anything. So um, it just makes sure that the email is not empty and the password is not empty. And then it makes the cloud login dev connection. Again, make sure you have your proper game ID and game token in here. Actually, I think my game ID is 11, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And then on success, it'll go to the sign-in process. 
I wish I had it set up to save the fail message. Maybe I do in my, maybe I'm using my the older version of, <laughs> I might be using the older version of my asset for this demo. I think in the new version, it actually saves um, the error message so, and then you can display it if you need to. So on success, then um, it just goes on to the next state. We're logged in. On failure, it'll say something went wrong, but I'm pretty sure in my new versions of the actions, I have an error message in there that you can save as well. All right, so that's all I'm going to show on this initial setup. So I encourage you to check out my asset if you're a Playmaker user and get started setting up on cloud games. It's real or cloudlogin.dev. It's really simple to um, add your game and you can take a look at my package when you purchase it on itch, look at the demo scene and you can build similar FSMs, similar canvas and UI fields to um, register the user and or log in the user. Also, it's important to note, when the user registers, you don't need to run a uh, separate sign-in event. Um, it automatically signs them in. Um, so we don't need to then go to a login field. Once they're registered, it automatically logs them in. All right, um, next time what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, maybe adding credits, adding score, maybe adding special attributes. All right, check out the next episode.